So all this land used to be farmland. There was nothing here but farmland. And then um, this is my grandmother's original allotment given to her back in the early 1900s. And it's 320 acres. So it's been farmed over 30 years. And then when I had finished college and got started in cattle in 1994, we took it back and then we got an equip contract and reseeded it all back to native grass. So this has been native grass now for over roughly almost probably going on 15 years. We used uh, whatever NRCS recommended at that year for the equip. It was like two cool season, two warm season. Prairie sand reed, uh, western wheatgrass, needle and thread, and side oats. Back in the day, they would bring tons of cows in here, back in the 80s. And you'd have four, five, six hundred head of cows here. And when the wind blew like it's blowing now for three or four days, that, that topsoil would be heading east day and night. I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. That's called wind erosion. And it takes a hundred years to form one inch of you know, topsoil. When that soil's gone, it's gone forever. So learning that, that's why I was so assertive or aggressive or whatever to try to protect the soil. Because we're not here forever. You know, our children have to use the soil in the future. Raising buffalo is so, I don't know, it's, I always describe it like a, putting on a glove. It fits my hand. My culture, the land, the buffalo, all mixed together. And that's what I feel my mission is today, is to do this and to raise them and bring it back and just be a help to community my community, my family, the reservation as a whole, to know that the buffalo have returned, at least in this part of the country. Um, we've got over 80 miles of buffalo fence here. There's special ways of putting the wires, height requirements. The fence we're gonna see now is brand new fence, built to NRCS regs every 16 feet a post five wires every 825 feet at H brace. Everything's measured. They never have breaking through this fence to get out, the buffalo. Through NRCS, we got 12 wells drilled over the years. We got 16 tire tanks with pipeline, 16 of those big 1,200 gallon tire tanks through NRCS. That has really helped our operation put water where there was no water, so they have more access to water. This year we had all our wilds on so that the buffalo can stop wherever they were to get a cold drink of water, you know, on those hot days, dry days. Man, that really boosts them, their morale, I think. NRCS has definitely helped us out. It moved us up to the next level of our operation to where we can go 100% buffalo today. My family, I got three girls and one son, and the goal is that this operation, when I can't do it no more, is that they will equally share in the benefits of this operation.